you guys see that? That's the major downside to this all-terrain skateboard. Flat tires. curious what I'm doing I'm feeling around on the inside for any sharp objects because if you don't remove any nails or whatever that punctured your tire in the first place when you put the new one on it's gonna blow again I know that from experience when you install the tube make sure the valve stem is pointing to the outside of your tire. Probably doesn't matter, but the lettering is what I consider the outside. It just, you know, just looks nicer. When you put the when you put the rim on the tire and tube, just make sure the tube is is all the way in and not resting or sticking out onto the inside of the rim itself. <laughs> As with anything that rotates, you want to tighten your screws in the proper order, uh, starting with whatever side you want to, and then going across to the next screw like that, and then we'll go over here. You alright over there? What are you doing? Fixing my electric skateboard. Got a flat tire. And, and don't tighten them all the way until you have all the screws in. So there you go. I'm, I started here. I started with that one. Went down to this one. I'm going across over here. And I'm going to go over here in a star pattern. And I'm not tightening them all the way down yet until they're all torqued about the same. Just make sure, just make sure everything's all properly aligned. And then uh, once you're you're confident that's good, you just tighten it. Boom. Okay, there's two of these on either side of... Actually, there's two of everything on either side of the wheel, so I start with this little tiny washer, slide that on, this bearing, and then this sleeve. Slide that on like that. Bearing, washer, and then cap it off with... This nut, we use our handy dandy Evolve T wrench. I don't know what you call it, T wrench, T socket. It's a socket basically, with three different sizes on it. And there we go. 